they are single ladies. Stop manipulating men into marriage. My name is Olusegun Mokuolu. Did you know that women manipulate men into marriage? Just as it is possible for a man to manipulate a woman into marriage, women manipulate men into marriage. What do we mean? As a lady, a man shows interest in you. He shows interest in the fact that he likes you. That man has not made up his mind. He's not sure yet what he wants. But because you were hunting for a man, you quickly lay hold of that man. You want him to be known to your family members because you feel that's one way to tie him down. You want to quickly have introduction. You want to have him uh, go through some form of wedding process and so on. And because the man is lusting after you, he will also just go ahead. You see, there's a difference between a man that wants to possess you and a man that wants to marry you. Because most men lust after you, they want to possess you. And the only way they can do that is to marry you. So they keep going along, but they are not really interested in marrying you. They just want to possess you. So they go along foolishly with that kind of arrangement. And then when their eyes are cleared, they hate you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. And as a lady, you may have made them committed to the point where pregnancy a setting, having baby, you know, all of that. And that man will only show interest in the child. He will not show interest in you. He's not yet ready for marriage. He has not made up his mind. He was just carried away with your physical look or something about you that made him to show interest. It wasn't that he was ready to make marital commitment, but you quickly make that man to make marital commitment. A man that has just graduated uh, from, from school, you want to quickly marry him. You say, there's no problem, everything will be fine, let's just get married. But as soon as you got married, you are the same person that is telling the man, go and look for a job. How is it that your mates are getting a job, you can't get anything to do? You forgot that that man just graduated from, from school. Now, some people may finish from school and life just goes on smoothly for them. But in most cases, life is not like that. I know, for example, that it took me several years of graduating from the university before I got a job. I left university in 2003 and I got married in 2016. You can see the years. If you tie me into a marriage in 2003, you will frustrate me. By that time, there were many things for me to figure out. Where I'm going in life, what I want to do, the direction, what God wants me to do. So many issues. But it took time for me to figure all of those things out. As a lady, you want to quickly tie the man down. Something says to you, this one must not go. Don't tie any man down. Particularly as a Christian woman. Don't tie any man down. In fact, give a man the room. The room to make up his mind. Give a man the room to say he's not interested in you. Because you know what you do? When that man says, oh, sorry, I'm not going ahead. If it's a man that is able to reason and say, I'm not going to hurt, you will hate him, you will block him, he becomes your enemy. It's as if that man has done something terrible to you. No. You must understand that usually when men come to you, it's because they are either lusting after you, they want to possess you, or they just have some form of interest in you. That does not mean that that man has concluded in his heart that he wants to marry you. Now, if you are born again and what you are following is biblical pattern, usually the man will have settled the matter before the Lord, before coming to you. But even notwithstanding, give it time. Don't press the man to make any decision he is not ready to make. You know, I see situation where, as a lady, you are saying, um, what exactly do you want? You see, what you are doing is that you want to hurry him up to say to you that he wants to marry you. You are telling him, I know there is something in your mind. That you want to tell me why are you bothered about what is in his mind go and read philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 it says be careful for nothing as a child of god be careful for nothing many women that have gone into this kind of relationship they are regretting it today in fact the men usually will abandon you 
he will abandon you completely. He will not want to have anything to do with you because as at that time, he has not made up his mind. Now, by the time he's now making up his mind, he is now seeing the kind of woman he truly wants. Are we saying that is right? No, it's not right. It is sinful. We understand that once you marry, you are married. Whether by mistake, by accident, or by design, you are married. But this is a safeguard for you as a lady. Why do you also want to go into a marriage where you are going to regret it? Where you are going to suffer terribly? Because you are so desperate to, marry, to be married. Build your life without a man. Build your life such that it is just you. If a husband comes along the way, glory be to God. If a husband does not come, glory be to Jesus. But don't live a life that seems to suggest that you have suspended your life until a man comes. Stop planning your life with a man. Plan your life. Let God plan your life for you. That whether you marry or you are not married, you can live your life. You can have a life without a man. The man you truly need is the man Jesus Christ. Please understand that as a child of God, we have principle, process, and pattern that we follow that is based on the word of God in getting married. If you violate this, you will suffer for it. If you marry carelessly, you will suffer endlessly. There is a reason why God wants us. There is always consequence. Many married people today are crying because they did that. I saw it. I was almost a victim of the same thing myself, but I give glory to God. Once again, if you marry carelessly, you will suffer endlessly. It is my prayer that you will learn. You will receive wisdom. You will trust God and wait for the Lord to guide you into a proper marriage in the name of Jesus. I am Olusha Gumukolu. God bless you.